right, it's Goku Runners virtual 10K day. So I didn't want to go out to run this morning. I've been somewhat in a running rut these past couple of months. I've had a couple of non-related running injuries that have set me back and my mojo is gone. But I have this Goku Runners virtual 10K to do. So I got up, put on my shoes and drove out to the run. 2020 has been a hard, rough year. People have lost their lives and jobs, races have been canceled, and we haven't been able to see our friends. But with these virtual runs, we aren't alone. We're running together. And for this race, I asked you, what good thing happened to you, running or otherwise, in 2020? And this is what you had to say. What's up, my name's Dylan. I just completed my first ever 10K for the Goku Runners Virtual Christmas 10K. And for me, something good's happened in 2020, probably the best thing that's happened to me is my realism that I was an alcoholic and I needed to quit. And I've been able to do that through running and I'm very thankful for that. And in honor of joining the Goku Runners Club, I had to break out the Ultra Instinct hoodie. One of the good things that happened to me in 2020 is, I'm not sure if you heard about uh, YouTube took away the go to channel option on the live streams. So I actually built an extension called go to channel and it's been used by well, a lot of uh, YouTubers. Hey everybody, this is Chaser Williams from Montgomery, Texas. About to do the Goku Runner 10K. Got my fast shoes on here. So I'm ready to go. This year I'm thankful or grateful for uh, I ran my second 100K and I haven't got COVID. Hello, just got done running my 10K. I got the time I wanted, so that was good. And uh, I'm on run streak day 249. And this year's been interesting, but the good thing that happened to me and my husband and our family is that we bought our first house. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. And I hope you all had a good run. I just gotta say, I love seeing all your faces. It's great to put a face behind all those usernames that I see on my comment section. But for mine and Anna's run, we just took it easy. We ran when we wanted to, and walked when we wanted to, just decided to do the 10K with no pressure at all. Let's go ahead and hear what else you guys think for in 2020. Hello, I'm Mark. I live in Northeast England. Um, it's unseasonably warm here, but um, we're going for our 10K today. We've just come down that big hill behind us and we'll be going up another big hill that's just in front of us. We'll catch up again in a minute. Well, I'm halfway down the big hill now, so I'd just like to say that uh, the best thing that's happened in 2020 is all the community pulling together to protect people who were either shielding or um, lost their jobs or were ill or lost money through a new fault of their own. It's been really good and hope it continues into 2021. 2020 certainly has been an eventful year, if nothing else. Better than 2019 for me, for sure. I ended 2019 in ICU, apparently, with a three foot blood clot. So got that cleared up, so that was good. Running wise, 2020 is definitely challenging too. Virtual races, they've been fun working from home not having to drive as much but 2021 looking forward to it. it's got to be great i'm going to lose weight and everything and get faster well that's the plan let's see if i can follow it through me too gordon me too all right me and Anna are still out on our 10k let's see what else you guys are thinking for in 2020. i have had a pretty eventful 2020 in may i lost my job due to the pandemic and the oil crisis I landed another job. It was an increase in pay and it was a promotion position wise. And in November, I completed my 50 miler. It was rough, it was tough, but I got it done and I grinded it out. So I'm encouraged that it's been a, it's been a phenomenal year, even with all the craziness, even with all the frustrations. Merry Christmas, have a great and prosperous new year. And I got my Senate cap on. My name is Caitlin. And I'm relatively new back to running. So I used to run a lot in high school and college just to keep in shape for basketball. Something good that happened in 2020 was I ran my first half marathon and I smashed my goal was three hours 
than I did in two hours and 55 minutes and change. Super, super psyched about that. I never run that far in my life. And now, I love that distance, I love the challenge. It's awesome. So, uh, that's a little bit about me. I love your videos and following you on Strava, now on YouTube. And uh, please keep them up, they're very useful. You have a great time and enjoy running. Hey everyone, Large Eddie here in Greensboro, North Carolina. I really missed having live races and group runs this year, probably like everyone. But I did a lot of easy running by myself. I didn't blow myself up in the summer heat the way I do so often. And I've almost made it to the end of the year without any big gaps for injury or illness or just being burnt out. So that's a good thing to happen. Happy holidays, everyone, and let's hope that 2021 is a better one. Oh, there's so much to be thankful for this year. Mainly if I had to pick one, it'd have to be my wife. She's the reason why I keep pushing every day to keep running. Today is my 247th day in a row. Today's gonna be her 250th. Wasn't for her, I'd probably wouldn't have a run streak right now, but she's the reason why I keep pushing myself. She keeps making me a better person. So for her, I'm really thankful. And I'm thankful for running more outside and spending time with this one and getting to run anytime I want. And she's thankful for the angel. Merry Christmas. All right, me and Anna are almost done with our 10K. Let's see what else you guys are thankful for in 2020. Chris Heisner here and my boy Cooper. Haven't been uh, doing much running other than my short street miles. For the last two weeks, I've had a headache and Doc's got me on some medicine playing with my heart rate right now. So good thing this year, I'm currently at 115 days of one mile or more. And this will be, I believe, 44 straight months of 100 plus miles. Have a good one and run safe out there. Just finished my Goku running challenge. Man, that kicked my butt. One good thing that happened to me during 2020, well, I started off the year sitting at around 215. Now, I'm so happy to say that I'm around 185, lost about 30 pounds, I think. I'm super happy about that. Thank you, Goku Runner, for setting this up. And uh, keep hammering. My name is Nam Kim. I'm 47, and I live here in New Jersey. I'll show you the view outside. I think one thing I learned in 2020 is that I learned to enjoy the little things in life, such as having a job where I could work remotely, having food on the table, and having a family, and just being healthy all together is a great thing. And I look forward to better 2021. If I had to say something good that happened to me this year, I would have to say that uh, it's not really something good to happen to me, it's something good to happen to my mom. And that's the fact that she stayed COVID free this whole year. That's the best thing that could happen to me in 2020. And in, into 2021 that my mom still, she's still around, she made it through this pandemic. So that's the best thing that could have happened to me this year. Hey, what's up Goku? I get a Sunday morning, doing a Goku 10K. You know I me, mean? putting that work. Or at least I'm trying to get back to it. Here I am. Best wishes to everybody. Let's get this work. You guys kicked butt on your runs, but we're not done yet. Here's a few more of you tell me what good happened to you in 2020. Um, I'm Rachel from Texas, and my biggest victory this year has been not only keeping my job, but getting a promotion and managing to support my family all year long. Jeremy, been tough this year. Looking forward to having runs, hugging friends, being normal. Peace to everybody, ready for the new year. Love y'all. So I guess that just leads me to say what I'm thankful for in 2020. I'm thankful I got out of bed to run this virtual 10K with all of y'all because y'all are such amazing, inspirational runners. And I'm also thankful for these Goku Runner virtual races because while I didn't think I would throw more than one of these virtual runs, I'm glad I did because if I didn't, I wouldn't have gotten to make this awesome video of all you guys. So goodbye 2020 and here's to a greater 2021.